Welcome to JG's Fire Talk, sponsored by Riches Boxing and Limitless Creations. And you're with me now for Lucy Wildheart versus Adina Kiss, live on Fight Zone, um, all the way from Malta. Uh, going to guide you all the way through the fight for this one. So before we get into the fight, we're going to have a little bit of this. Are you ready? Because we're watching it on Fight Zone, we're going to have a little bit of this as well. Welcome to Fight Zone. The blood, the sweat, the tears, the sweet taste of victory. Join the revolution. What do you yeah. keep fucking telling me to stop? So there you go. Something a bit a bit more, all singing, all dancing. So, Lucy Wildheart versus Adina Kiss, live from Malta on Fight Zone. Um, if you're signing up to Fight Zone, it's four ninety nine a month, one pound twenty five a week. When you go to sign up, affiliate a code, type in JG's Fight Talk. Just let them know that I sent them that you that like I sent you over to them. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, we've had what's happening. The girls are in the corners, they're getting ready to go. As we say, Lucy Wildheart, eight fights, seven wins, three knockouts. Adina Kiss, 29 fights, 15 wins, nine knockouts. So it'll be a good test for Lucy Wildheart. It's a last minute opponent for her. So there's all sorts going on. Um, yeah, but I spoke to her this morning, gave her a WhatsApp call, and uh, she's so geared up for this fight, ready to go. Um, really looking forward to it. So here we go, round one, they're having a Good old scrap to start with. A good right hand by Lucy Wildheart. As I say, good start here. Ender's jumped in. Hi from Twitter. He's not watching, but he's sending his hello. Um, Wildheart, good right hand there. As we say, Adina uh, Kiss here. Being... Um, Quite resilient there. <laughs> Trying to stick behind the jab, but Lucy, box and move, box and move at the moment. Um, looking very good doing it. Good body shot there um, by Adina Kiss. Good luck, Lucy, says Ender on Twitter. But yeah, scrappy start. Adina Kiss is... Uh, Throwing some shots to the body, not bothering Lucy too much. She's just sticking behind that jab at the moment. Good double jab there by Lucy. Working the body well there. The rest just saying to Adina Kiss, look, keep your head up. She keeps pu pushing her head down at the moment. Big right hand by Lucy Wildheart. Another big right hand followed by a left. I think uh, definitely in a war, this this one, these two. A good left hand by Lucy. Good jab by both there, meeting each other with jabs. Good combination there by Lucy, sort of two threes and ended around. Yeah, there we go. Remember, two minute rounds. They go so quick, um, the rounds. If you're watching at home, let me know how you're seeing it. Um, if you're watching this for the first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button on JG's Fight Talk on YouTube. And, um, yeah, when we're not doing live watch-alongs, we've got interviews, uh, prediction shows, all sorts of different stuff going on. Uh, we've got a great week coming up as well. We've got Fight Camp tomorrow that we're doing live watch-alongs for. I may have Ender coming on with me for that. So definitely tune in tomorrow. As I say, hit that subscribe button and know what's going on on JG's Fight Talk. But... Yeah, gone to the corners. Lucy was landing a lot cleaner shots in that round. So, to be honest, I'll give the first round to Lucy Wildheart. So, sorry, good old pen, pen and paper. So, yeah, here we go, round two. Kiss sort of comes out of the corner, lands two jabs, but doesn't seem to bother. Ref says, keep your head up. She goes in with her head a lot. Um, Lucy, good combination there. Good jab as well. Um, kisses sticking in there. Um, quite sloppy punches, but 
she's throwing stuff she's she's you know being an opponent she's she's throwing back and that's you know a test in itself so lucy lands a good right hand there but they go back into the clinch again this referee sporting a fantastic ponytail um yeah good right and left there by kiss i don't think it was there was much power behind it but she threw it she landed it Good body shot, good uppercut there by Lucy Wildheart. So the ref just gets in between, pushes them apart a bit. Big overhand right there by Kiss, but didn't really get too much. Lucy gets a fantastic scoring jab there. Real straight down the pipe stuff. But Kiss comes back again, throwing the big overhands. Big overhands coming in. But as I say, very scruffy, very much a brawler, looking for that big punch all the time. Lucy, the more technical boxer, working on her toes a lot more, using the jab, working the body. But Kiss is in there, and if she's throwing those sort of shots, she's dangerous. So good shots there. As I say, um, Kiss, a late uh, opponent that's come in, um yeah it does make it awkward sometimes but that's that's what happens in boxing especially at the moment um governing bodies and, and covid and all sorts of things are changing all the time so it makes it really difficult so you just got to be on your game and whatever opponent comes in front of you you just got to get ready to deal with it um as i say if you're watching jg's fight talk for the first time uh yeah, hit that subscribe button. You're with me for Wild Heart versus Kiss live on Fight Zone all the way from Malta. Uh, this is the main event on the card. Um, and we're going into round three. As we say, see in the corner there, Sam Mullins just giving some info to Lucy and saying, look, good shots to the body. Let's work that body more. Think about what you're doing. Well, that's what I think they're saying. That's random. The ref hadn't even started the fight and the clock was already going. So that's an interesting one. So it's bad enough that they're two minute rounds and they go so bloody quick anyway. So here we go, round three. Good left hook by Lucy there. As I say, Kiss turning this into a right scrap. When she gets the opportunity, she throws those big overhands, but Lucy working the body well there. Big sort of clubbing shots. The ref said, look, the two of you stop the holding. Let's get on with this. Good left hand there by Lucy. Lucy's trying to keep that sort of centre of the ring at the moment. But, as I say, Kiss is turning it into a bit of a slugfest. Making it very messy. Making it very difficult to sort of use your boxing in there but the ref slowing it down again gives him a chance to reset again Lucy going back to that box and move working the body well good left jab there by Kiss but I don't think it's anything to particularly worry about good right hand there by Wildheart And the ref's saying he's having a word because Kiss keeps sticking that head in there. Big overhand right, but it seems to hit the guard of Wildheart. Same again. Guarding well. Working the body there. But she's sticking that head down again. That ref will take a point if he's not happy with the head movement there. She keeps digging that head in. But she goes back to the corner. Wildheart's... Both of them back to the corner. I have to say, Kiss looks tired. She sat down in the corner. But, as I say, at the moment, Wildheart working the body well. Kiss is just making the fight really awkward, really messy. 
throwing some big overhand shots, but generally on the gloves. They're not really landing point scoring punches. At the moment, to be fair, we're going into round four. I've, I've given each round to Wild Heart as it stands. She's just uh, getting the job done. A lot cleaner shots, far cleaner shots. As I say, the only punch that um, Kiss seems to possess is the big overhand right. Um, and then once she's thrown it and she's missed, she's then got to try and regain all that energy to get the next one off. But she's she's she just looks tired. So if Lucy gets the punches right, um, she could definitely get her out of there if that's if that's how it's going to go. But the ref's having a word with both of them. And they've stopped it. I think the the fighter has retired at the end of the round there. So Lucy takes the win there. Just all of a sudden seems to be stopped. So just going for a replay. Big right hand there by Wildheart. Um, throwing some big shots. But the ref did warn Kiss quite a few times about the head going in. Yeah, just showing on the replay. She threw a big overhand right there, Wild Heart. And there we go. They're about to announce it. And both in the centre of the ring taking their time over it you know build the suspense <laughs> and there we go so Lucy Wildheart moves to nine fights eight wins four knockouts so well done Lucy Wildheart all the way in Malta she moves on she moves on to those bigger fights now so Congratulations to her. As I say, thanks for tuning in. If you're tuning in for the first time, make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out the rest of the content. And yeah, Lucy Wildheart gets the results she needs and moves on in her journey towards that world title. So, as I say, head over to JG's Fight Talk on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, check out the rest of the content. We've had interviews from Lucy Wildheart before. Um, we've had a good chat with her and yeah, I'll see you all soon. Thank you very much. Are you ready? Welcome to Fight Zone. The blood, the sweat, the tears, the sweet taste of victory. Join the revolution. Keep yeah. fucking telling me to stop!